No. Like, like that. On your own. Yeah. Why? Why would I need anyone else? Just mainly with you. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. Right. Uh, firstly, I hear there's some congratulations in order. Being a new position. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, I don't know it's a bit of a headache so far, but I'm dealing with it. And I think someone like you can't deal with you used to do IA. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest, I'm getting a lot more work in... A lot more IA work now than I did back then. <clears throat> I'm sure you're getting a lot more respect out of it, too. Yeah, we'll see. How can I help uh, you? So, what do you know uh, about the whole Michael Simone uh, ordeals? Um, I have a very limited knowledge, and since being assistant chief, I've kept a very limited knowledge, um, because I want to keep privy to the most important things. <clears throat> Don't think this is important? Yeah, and I think I know the important thing, but as for the details thus far, no. Okay. Has anyone told you about uh, him recently? Reggie, I think you understand. I don't know how much you know. You don't know how much I know. Okay, let me, let me put it this way. I'm acting as his uh, legal aid current. Before that, I was his lawyer. Now, that should tell you exactly what his status would be now. Okay. Well, what do you want? What are you looking for? Uh, something quite simple, to be honest. Is... <sighs> uh, Michael's open to a plea deal. I spoke with Snow a few days back on this very roof about it. And... I've been trying to set up a meeting for myself, Snow, and Brian. I know it's going to be difficult for us to arrange, but I'm still yet to even catch Brian. Now, the reason I wanted to talk to you is because your name was thrown at me to, to talk to about this. The reasons being uh, certain parties are concerned about uh brian and I'll, I'll be frank with you dark i think that we're going to be given a shit play deal and uh, i know you uh, you like things being above board above board right me i like things uh, having some kind of justice but i also don't like people's lives being thrown away uh, at the expense of um revenge for lack of a better word i'm worried that brian's head's going to be too clouded to want to offer something decent as a plea deal now i'll also let you know the same thing that i told snow if this goes to court i can rip apart the majority of the charges that were there already i already did a lot of the prep work for this shit let me take, take this two can. seconds. Yeah. Hello? Are you safe? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. Call Perfect. again in five minutes for me. <clears throat> Perfect. See ya. Why did I do something to you, Dark? Finally, I think good to you. I know, but I think we both know the extent of your client's capabilities, and I'm just taking precautions. Legend. Now, right. I'm not going to argue about that with you, but what I am going to say is if this goes to court, I can shred the majority of the shit that was thrown against him quite easily. And yes, before you say anything, you're right. I don't have a bar license. I'm not a lawyer anymore. However, what I would do is I would prep whatever lawyer I pick 
and I will stand there and pull the strings on them and they'll be my little puppet. So essentially it's going to be all my work anyway, just spat out of a different mouth. Now, when looking at the charges and I, if you have time, I would appreciate you looking over the previous charges that he was looking at and just having a brief look at the evidence. In reality, there's a lot of circumstantial evidence. Now, when that comes to court, we all know shit falls apart. So that's why I'm coming to you to ensure that whatever plea deal we get is somewhat fair. Because he is open to taking a plea deal. However, he's not open to getting fucked. Nor would I let him. What's you looking to plea on? Well, that's going to be the, something that comes from you guys, right? But how it's going to work in what I've been waiting to have this meeting for is you guys tell us what you want and what you'll give for that. Then we'll look it over. If we want to counter offer it, we'll counter offer it and we'll work from there. But you guys have to put the first bit out there. Okay. But again, I want you to look over it and be somewhat involved so you can see that it's actually fair and it's not uh, Brian getting too clouded with uh, he just wants to fuck Michael Simone into the ground because at the end of the day, that's still a human being. Why would you think Brian would want to do that? Uh, the things that have been said to me. And it, it, this isn't my concern fully as it is uh, more Michael's concern. Now, I, I have concerns for myself. I feel like that uh, once Brian works out uh, my involvement as his illegal aid, I feel like Brian's going to try and fuck me into the ground. Good luck to him. If he does try, I'll get out of it. But uh, I feel like he's probably going to try and do something sly. And uh, not to mention, just from PD's side, there's a chance that when other people work out that I'm trying to help Michael out of this stuff, that they're going to try and get me as well. I'm looking at some shit I've got to deal with too, but at least with you guys, I can hopefully mitigate some of it. But did you know who that man on the roof is? To your three o'clock on the balcony? I don't even see a man on the roof. The man in a white shirt and a black backpack. What building? Directly to your three o'clock. There's a big, large balcony. There's two people up there. Climbing on a roof. Maybe I can't see. Cause... Oh. That's not you. Oh. I've got Listen. no one else here. I... I'm sure you have an answer for this question, yeah, Reggie. Yeah, I can just see the person now. I don't know who they are. I'm sure you have an answer for this question, but why doesn't... Michael just turned himself in, and then we can talk about a plea deal afterwards. Because <clears throat> nothing happens fairly that way, right? His concerns are... Uh, sorry, it's probably going to come out to you if it hasn't already. A certain somebody's decided to try and uh, run his name through the mud even further for whatever personal gain that they get. Uh, unsure. But uh, we're also unsure of their extent in the, the bullshit that they're going to spin to you guys, right? So we've got to play cards closely to our hands. Now, if he, if he doesn't have any charges against him, which he doesn't currently, right? Then what's he turning himself in for? Fair. So that's why we're trying to work amicably with you guys now to get ahead of all this bullshit and try and sort something out and if it doesn't happen that way and it has to go to court and so be it but that just means a lot more work on your end 
and uh, a, a lot more running for Michael. And uh, we were having a, a chat the other day, and he kind of wants to put all the shit behind him and just uh, stop looking over his shoulder and actually be able to to see people again and uh, walk amongst the public without having to be concerned about everything. I'm sure you could appreciate that. You know, he tried to kill my husband. You have proof that he did? I'm just curious as to why you think after that I'm going to be the one to not be emotional here. Because you're not an emotional person like that, Dark. I've never known you to be like that. At the end of the day, you're always just an officer doing your job and doing it right. I feel like you're the kind of person that can separate that shit. I hope that you are. I can give you my word that Michael will be charged with the charges we can prove and nothing more. That's it. If we can prove that he's a terrorist, or he's trying to kill a bunch of people, then that's, that is what will happen. There's not going to be any false charges. There's not going to be any adding shit on top. Just, just to try and see if it sticks. I suggest you look at the previous docket that was put up then and tell me if that was the same case. Because I can tell you right now, it wasn't. And to be honest, uh, talking to you, Dark, is was not something I really wanted to do. Because personally, if it were me, I would love to have uh, Brian there spearheading it all so I could rattle the absolute living fuck out of him on the stand and make him throw it all down the drain because he's so emotionally invested in this shit that it would be easy to do. However, I also don't want to have to get someone else to try and be me in a courtroom because they may not have the same tenacity that I do. Again, this is something that Michael wanted me to do. At the end of the day, <clears throat> if I can do anything with this PD, it's to make things, make sure things are done right, and make sure. I, I hate saying it like this, but uh, to make sure that the justice is being upheld at the end of the day, and at least while I'm in my position, and while Chief Reed is with me. There is something I can assure. And this isn't like a little case that I'm going to look over either. This is one that I'm, I'm going to be overseeing and making sure it's done right. If Brian is too emotionally invested, which I still don't know why he would be. But if he is, I'll sort it out. Okay, so... What if I were to tell you that there's a possibility that Brian could have been targeted himself in this? Would that not make you question their involvement in this case? How many cops haven't been targeted or haven't been sure. affected by, you know, allegedly Michael Simone? How many of them haven't had a colleague who has been hurt by allegedly Michael Simone. Correct. You're not going to find anybody clean, but I know what you're saying. There could be cleaner people. Exactly what I was about to mention. That's why I, it's been brought to my attention to get your, your eyes on this as well, to make sure this 
isn't just a, a let's try and fuck him into the ground and pin him into the corner and ruin his whole life and kill him. Because like I said, at the end of the day, Dark is still a human being. And if that human being is telling me that they just want to go back to being able to walk the streets and not looking over their shoulder all the time and go see his family and friends without worrying about fucking them into the ground, you kind of know that he's realized that he needs to change. I get that. It's a human instinct to want to be free. But that being said, I'll be straight with you. It sounds like Michael's scared of getting life in prison or worse. And I think that, again, that's natural. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to take Michael's fears into account on this. I'm just going to take the facts. People should, be, people should be charged for things that can be proven in court that they did. I, I do mm -hmm. agree. We've got a similar standpoint on justice. Our uh, meaning for justice might be skewed slightly, but uh, for me, I, I do agree with that. Um, my my counter to it, and again, this is this is me, right? This is me, not Michael. Put yourself in Michael's shoes, right? I know it might be difficult to do, but put yourself in Michael's shoes and uh, say have me there standing there uh, who i am telling you i can get you out of the majority of the charges and to not stress because a lot of the charges are bullshit but you're still standing there stressing and worrying the whole time thinking about the what ifs because uh, the, the reality of this is this is going to be a senate case I've seen a senator pull out an RPG and shoot someone with it because they had a hat on inside. That is his fear. Not PD. That is his fear. He doesn't want it to go to court. It's not that he doesn't want it to go to court. His fear is the, the Senate and their inability to understand uh, our our laws, our penal code, uh, give a fuck about another human's life. An RPG for a hat? Really? Like, it's shit like that. They're a coin flip. I could do the best case. You guys could do the best case. And at the end of the day, the senator could be sitting there after drinking 30 bottles of whiskey and being like, fuck it. I'm going to murder them both. Catch my drift? Yeah. Yeah, justice. you're not wrong. You're right, it's not. Okay. I'll never talk to, uh... I'll never talk to Snow. I'll get filled in. Your concerns and his concerns are valid. And I'll keep my own things. Appreciate it, Doc. Oh, Is there I anything else? Make sure it's fair. That's it. See, you didn't get shot from anyone. No. No, like I didn't. I, like I said, Doc, you've only ever been good to me and I've been good to you. I understand your worries. People always have them. Is but if we ever meet again like this, it, it's going to be the same shit. Okay. We just want to work this shit out. But, I'm going to say this. Okay. Yeah, I am going to say this, and I said this to Snow. Do not try and fuck me on this. I am just a messenger. I am a conduit between the two parties. I am acting as legal aid and trying to come to some kind of resolve for this. not a threat that is just me saying just don't try and turn this into a thing about me this has got nothing to do with it. period you know the law you know the risks if you're harboring him so just 
<laughs> Just don't do anything stupid now. Oh, uh, for one, if you guys tried to hit me with a hot charge for a harbour and a fugitive, I'd be out inside probably three hours, I'd say, max, because uh, that wouldn't that wouldn't fit the bill. Uh, so, I know, uh, and I, I'll be straight up with you, I feel like at some point uh, someone in PD is going to get a real bright idea to try and hit me with a harbour and a fugitive charge. I already thought about that. But let me give you the point on why, if anyone ever mentions it to you, it shouldn't happen. One, they need to be in Bolingbroke custody, which means inside the prison. That never happened. Okay, and two, they tried to do the same shit to people that may have broken him out earlier, and the judges knocked that back. So please, if anyone has a bright idea to try and fuck me with that, tell them they're being dumb. Okay. I can do that. If you don't believe me, talk to the judges yourself and double check on that. I wouldn't be risking myself if I knew that I could get hit with that. Especially seeing as I was the reason why that charge was actually implemented in the legislation. I just got one last question before I before I go. <clears throat> Roger, if you know just just don't spit any of this allegedly bullshit after I say this. If Michael has told you what he's done, why are you still helping him? That's an easy and that's an easy answer. The same reason why I never took any money off anyone when I was a lawyer. Because at the end of the day, I just want people to get real representation from someone that gives a fuck about uh, them as a human and to make sure that they see their day in court that's it i never charged anyone for my services when i was a lawyer for all that time for that pure fact of there's so many shit lawyers in the city that just do not give a fuck i was one of the very few that actually did give a fuck about making sure they got their day in court and they had actual representation that would sit there and spend hours of his own time in his apartment to make sure that these people could walk free if shit wasn't going to fly in court. Regardless on whether or not I know that they did it, that's not the point. What the point is, in my mind, and again, this is why our view of justice is skewed, if you have the ability to charge someone with it and you have all the evidence, I am more than likely, like for example, Frank Jr. Smith is looking at DT. His lawyer said, we can fight it in court. We'll get out of this easily. I looked at everything he had and I said, you're fucked, Frankie. We are best going for a plea deal. And I spoke to Snow about organizing a plea, a plea deal. That's why. I know when I can fold my cards. But again, if someone else wants to fold them, all I do is act like the conjurer. Fair enough. I respect that. <clears throat> okay. Well... Thank you for contacting me. Um, and uh, I'll see if I can push this meeting getting set up sooner rather than later. <clears throat> I appreciate that, Doc. Thank you for meeting with me. Yeah, thanks for not killing me. <laughs> it's okay. Doc, I would never try and kill you. you I know. The last time I came out of PD and my office in the past week on my own, I was poisoned with anthrax. The fuck? There's anthrax? Don't send me any anthrax, please, Doc.